What's up guys, Steve with Scotch and Things. Hey, I want to do a quick video real quick. Yesterday I did the unboxing on the new SOCOM Bravo from Microtech, um, made over in China. And a video comparison against the SOCOM Elite. And this is the automatic, I don't have a manual. That's why I bought this one, because the manual is so good. Yesterday I kind of came off like a whiny little baby in the video about the clip. And the action, this thing, just by playing with it, watching TV last night, this thing has gotten stupid smooth. Um, and I kept complaining about the clip. And then I realized when you guys, KB, mentioned it, this is the Bravo. This isn't the Elite. The Bravo is a completely different knife. It's based off of Anthony Marfion. I think it's his a signature series knife or a custom knife that he makes called the Bravo. And I think there's the Alpha too, and correct me, is the Alpha, I think the Alpha is the fixed blade. So we're going to go over the two real quick. Um, so two totally different knives, um, but the same. And that's where, in my mind, I'm not I'm not a reviewer, guys. I'm, not a, I'm just showing you stuff I buy, stuff I like. Um, and that's where I made the mistake, because in my mind, they're the same knife, but they're not. Yeah, they're the same shape, but it's different materials. This does look like a, a SOCOM Bravo, um, one of his customs. And I think that's what they were going after. And I'm glad they did it that way. I wouldn't want this knife made over there. I want, you know, I, I love it. It's um, aluminum versus titanium and carbon fiber. Um, so, and the pocket clips are different. Um, like I said, I, I was like a whiny little baby in that, and I haven't given it much chance. I won't start carrying this knife until end of December when I'm done carrying the Praetorian tie for a month. But just around the house, I put it in the pocket, and it does... The pocket clip works. What my big gripe is, and I'm not... Milled clips are hard for me because, like, it sticks out a lot further. It goes in and out of pocket pretty nice. Um... It carries well, just like I said, just in the five minutes I was walking around today with it. But my thing is, they if they catch and you bend this thing, you are boned. I mean, that clip is pretty much done. Where like these these stamped clips like this, you can bend them back. That's that's my gripe. We'll see how it is. Um, if I want a new one milled, Dave has offered to make me a new one. So that's my might be something I do just for fun anyway. Even if I carry this and find out I like it, maybe I'll send this off to him and, and let him whip up a clip for me and see see how that turns out. Um, he's he's just making one right now uh, for himself on his um, Spyderco Magnitude, which looks awesome. So go check him out, Satu Dave, um, YouTube, Instagram. It's S-A-T-U-D-A-V-E. Um, so he's a machinist and he does, I mean, he's making his own clips and stuff. So that's, that's awesome. So there's that, but here's the differences. Aluminum, stamp clip, titanium, carbon fiber. It's a little bit, dimensionally, it's like the same up top. It gets a little skinnier down here. It's, this knife is a little bit fatter down here. Blades are the same, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Blades, other than this one's not a Tonto. So, yeah, this one, even if this was the, I mean, the Elite is aluminum construction, and it's not a frame lock, it's a liner lock, where this one is a frame lock. But otherwise, I mean, they're the same knife design, kind of. You know, there's differences, like I said, in the locks, in the clips, uh, in the materials. But really, ergonomically, I mean... Same knife. This one is a little skinnier. This one does feel a little bit fatter in hand because it does have, you know, this one, the Elite, it's just, they're flat. It's just, they're flat scales. It's pretty flat. Where the Bravo is, the, that carbon fiber is kind of contoured. Um, same action though. I mean, this thing now is dialed just like all the manuals I've held. And that's why I wanted it. I wanted a, a manual SOCOM. Um, if I ever can get one of these in a manual, will I sell this thing? Eh, probably. I don't know now. 
I mean, it's an awesome, like I said, just playing around with it. It's a nice knife. What I wish I had a SOCOM Elite in a manual. Yeah, but I've got the auto right now. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah, KB pointed it out, all the differences, and made me think, like, well, yeah, they are different knives, but they're the same to me. Because, like I said, I'm not an expert, but in my eyes, ergonomically the same. Um, just really different materials, and that does make it different models from how the lock is done to the, you know, if you go back and look at some of Anthony's stuff, like these Deltas, or the Bravo, sorry. Did I call it Delta earlier? Bravo. God, now I'm confused myself. The Bravo. Yeah, God, I'm getting myself confused. Is it the Alpha or the, is it the Delta that's the fixed blade? Whatever. But the Bravo is a design off of, it's a knife that he's done before. Um, a custom piece, so I'm sure it's super expensive. Just like the Elite um, Customs that he makes, they're like, I think they started around twelve hundred bucks. Um, you know, I don't want to pay. I, you know, I'm okay spending twelve hundred dollars on some knives, but to me, the three hundred dollar version is is just fine. So, yeah, I mean, here you go, guys. Well, so yeah, different knives, but the same in my eyes. I know it doesn't make sense to you guys, but to me, it makes perfect sense. I wanted this knife put in the manual. This is what came out. It was the closest thing that I could get my hands on right now without paying crazy money on the secondary. So you can tell it's, um, his backspacer is a little bit different if you look at his custom Bravo, but you know, pocket clips are a little different. Um, I just, yeah, this is just a cheap stamp clip. But it works so well, guys. Um, and that's my only thing with the, the milled clips. They just kind of stick out and protrude, protrude. To me, they're easier to get snagged on something and just really wreck them. Where these, if you snag them, you know, you can kind of jerry-rig it back into to working for you. So, there you go. Just a real quick explanation. Like I said, I'm no expert. And once he pointed it out and I thought about it, I was like, yeah, he's right. They are completely different, but the same to me, ergonomically. I just wanted this shape in a manual, in a Tonto manual. So there you go. Just a quick rambling from an idiot. Two Cellcoms, Elite, Bravo, and uh, yeah, same, same but different to me. To me, to me, it's the same. To me, I'm just always going to think SOCOM Elite when I grab this, just because, yeah, it's a little fatter in hand, but it's still those, those nice ergonomics and that amazing action. So there you go, guys. Just a quick video, quick update. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.